Okay. I don't remember saving there. If you happen to have a VR headset and you're watching this video, buy this game. Buy Into the Radius. Don't pirate it. Don't get it for free. Buy it because this game needs to be supported. This is hands down the best game I've played on VR ever. And I'm not gonna lie, I just looked at the Steam chart for this game and it made me very sad. I thought there were way more people who knew about this masterpiece, but turns out there isn't. This is the most immersive game I've played in my life. And I don't mean immersive as in lifelike, because nothing about a black hole in the sky, which is just letting you live and roam around it, screams realistic to me. But it's immersive in that it makes you feel things. Like if you see an enemy walking towards you, even if you have a gun and it doesn't, it scares you to your core. Because it's just this void-like creature that you know nothing about, except for the fact that it wants to hurt you. And that makes you panic. First hand experience here, I panicked. Why? A lot. And it even goes beyond the gunplay. Beyond like fighting. You can look into the sky and the size of the radius just there in the sky, it makes you feel so insignificant. You're just left in awe at the size of it, that's what she said. Moving on from the whole immersion thing though, it's just a really good game. Like your main objective is these missions, and each mission that I've done so far has felt uh, quite a good difficulty. It's not so hard that you literally can't do it, but it's not so easy that you don't want to do it. It's a really good balance of in between. Plus the whole economy system is uh, quite good in my opinion. You get money from the quests, you can uh, get money from selling items that you find while in the radius, uh, and everything feels like priced quite well. There's no item in the game that I can say feels overpowered for the price that I paid for it, which I think is a really good thing to have in a game that's very about the economy. I haven't played the game for too long, but from what I have played there is no indication that there'll be an extensive story. I feel like the game is trying to convince me that the story is present, but it's just not working for me, and I don't know if that's a problem with me or with the game's writing. I don't overly care though, I've never really been a fan of story games, I'd much rather have really good gameplay, which this game definitely does have, but a nice story on this side to complement the gameplay would be nice. As per the contract, I am required to talk about Tarkov in every video I make, so this is where I'm going to bring it up, because I feel like Tarkov does a pretty good job at balancing between story and gameplay. Like the quests are all rooted in the story, the text uh, that accompanies the quests when you um, start them, and also when you finish them, kind of go along with a story, but in this game it just feels like it's not like that at all. So if I were to change one thing about how this game played out, it would be a more convincing story. But that's more of a nitpick, because I don't really care that much. Something that is kind of annoying though, is that the performance isn't great. I mean, I get it's really hard to balance a, uh, a VR game between performing well and looking good. But other games have done it, and I feel like it wouldn't be too hard to uh, do it in Into the Radius. But yeah, I think that about wraps up my thoughts on Into the Radius. I just really like it and I loved it from the day that I bought it. I'd give the game a good old 8 out of 10. Just better performance would be would be ideal for me. But yeah, other than that, I just wanted to mention I'm planning to release an album on the 13th of May this year. So uh, stay tuned for that, I guess. Other than that though, thanks for watching and see you next video. Thank you.